86 now spinning the Mueller report positive. Members of the Republican leadership on Capitol Hill are trying to mitigate the pending potential damage that the Mueller report might ultimately cause to the president. Now here's the truth, here's the reality. If the DOJ foisted a special counsel upon every president to examine his actions in office, then number one, they'd all be guilty of some kind of questionable behavior. And number two, few of them would be in jail. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, I, I want to start with a little bit of a deviation from you know, what we've been talking about in the Mueller report. And the, the very human side of the President of the United States that I think was revealed in some parts of the Mueller report when he found out that special counsel Mueller had been appointed. And he used uh, some very uh, flowery language to say, hey, my presidency is over. And he had every right to feel attacked and, and under attack by, by this appointment and all the cascading uh, number of events that took place uh, prior to this, including, of course, the recusal of then Attorney General Jeff Sessions, but also the responses to the questions uh, that were submitted by the special counsel to the president. I think some of them were, were very insightful, but also revealed another side of President Trump you know, very frustrated uh, with the process, and some of the answers were downright sarcastic. The beginning was bad, and it just got worse. He appoints an attorney general who should have told the president during his interviews, if there's a question about Russia, I'm going to recuse myself. I think I might have a conflict. He never told the president that. He got the job, and just days later, he bows out. Understandably, the president was very frustrated. Then he, Jeff Sessions, appoints the assistant attorney general to go out and do whatever he feels is best. And what does he do? He appoints a special counsel and gives him unparalleled historical power to investigate everybody and everything without limitation under the guise of Russia collusion. So everything that happened in the investigation proved some crimes that, by the way, I don't think anybody would pass scrutiny on, but nothing to indict a sitting president, meaning right. yeah. the whole thing proved nothing. No wonder Trump is frustrated. You, you and I would be too. Right, yeah, you and I uh, face this kind of scrutiny. There's no way they wouldn't find something, you know, a parking ticket, something that you did wrong or I did wrong, absolutely. <laughs> and so now the Democrats have clearly weaponized their committees. And just the, the finances component alone is staggering. When you look at how the Democrats have weaponized these committees, the Oversight and Reform Committee, the Ways and Means Committee, Financial Services, Intelligence Committee, they're all looking at Trump finances. And by the way, there is some information in the Mueller report regarding Trump finances, but then you have the Judicial Committee and the Intel Committee and whatever committee, they're going to take the Mueller report now and they're going to say, hey, Jerry, you take these pages on obstruction and hey, Adam, you take these pages on obstruction and so on and so on and so on and they're going to just shred, they're going to cherry pick and they're going to shred the heck out of the President of the United States. And ironically, when you talk off camera, Graham, to Republican strategists, they are gleeful about this. Because the truth is, the American people are done with this. The majority of the country bought off when Barr said no obstruction and no collusion, or at least no evidence to indict on obstruction, and totally no collusion. They're done with it. Right. If the Democrats in the House make this the issue for the next 15 to 17 months, Trump skips into the White House, literally well, I, on a I, landslide. I hope you're right. people I, want policy. I hope you're right. But we also know, Barry, by, by reading Mueller, that he put in there some, a couple of ticking time bombs. And, and one in particular that is literally urging the United States Congress to go after impeachment, a roadmap to impeachment on obstruction. And he says it plainly, in plain English, that it's essentially the duty of the United States Congress to kind of pick up where he left off. And here's where my previous comment becomes devastating to the Dems. Yeah, the House could indict uh, for impeachment. However, there will never, ever, ever, ever be a conviction and when this has happened before with Clinton, yep. who lied under oath, 
What happened? Democrat numbers went uh, up, Republican numbers went down, people said enough of this, let's talk policy. And Clinton was caught yeah. lying. Trump hasn't been. The, the, the key, and I think this is going to be important going forward, collusion has to have an underlying crime normally. Mueller found no underlying crime. Right. Now, to prove obstruction, you've got to prove hostile, bad, criminal intent. Right. That will never happen because no one knows what's in his mind. Well, He's an, a frustrated president who wants his policies and doesn't want to have to deal with this. And honestly, most Americans agree with the president. Intent, you're talking like a lawyer and you're talking about the court of law. We're talking about politicians in the United States House of Representatives, and they don't care about proving intent. Barry, thanks.